Okay, uh, the topic today is stop hurting yourself. That's a very interesting topic. Stop hurting yourself. People don't realize that they are hurting himself, themselves. So today we'll share the idea why we keep hurting ourselves. My name is Mang Chayanon. You know, anger is not always with us. It only comes when we are involuntary. Only when we are involuntary. If we are conscious, if we are mindful, we reconsider everything happened, then anger cannot enter. So, uh, if some thought coming up, particularly the evil thought, rethink about it, reconsider it, and look at the reason why it happened. And with our kindness, we will react that uh, incident, that very calm. So anger cannot enter to your mind. No matter who think badly of us, It, it's his problem, not about us. If, he, if they do, do something bad, if they think badly to us, it's their problem. It's not our problem. It's not about us. Because he is hurting himself. If he get angry, he is hurting himself. But don't let his anger to uh, create our anger in return. Because if we are if we are doing that, we will hurt ourselves. Let him his problem. Let him hurting himself. Look at that beautiful scenery 
and keep our mind relaxed and comfortable and think of nothing just look at the picture look at the that scenery beautiful scenery pay no attention to irritants pay no attention to irritants and think of nothing clear your mind calm down your mind that's all we have to do if we are stressed or anxious is going to hurt ourselves we need to be kind and compassionate with ourselves and love ourselves love ourselves remember that love ourselves first no matter what happened we are not stressed or anxious if we do we hurt ourselves if we uh, make ourselves kind and compassionate with ourselves not other with ourselves and love ourselves that's all you you have to do beautiful scenery and so that if you do that so that uh, he is not vengeful so we have to spread loving kindness to him our heart will be comfortable and free from annoyance and anger this is the way to get out from annoyance and anger spread loving kindness to him to them whatever whatever he does just spread loving kindness to him so our heart will be comfortable and free from annoyance and anger think of yourself first love yourself take care of yourself take care of your mind get away from hatred, anger which is journeying to, to revenge if we if we are malicious in response it is equal to us hurting ourselves because we are anxious to hurt ourselves first again if we are malicious in response 
equal to us hurting ourselves because we are anxious to hurt ourselves first. We want to hurt ourselves. That's why we uh, we are malicious in re response to hurt ourselves first without him knowing about it. But we actually hurt ourselves by ourselves. Therefore, spreading loving-kindness to ourselves to make our mind happy, not hurting ourselves first. Everybody loves ourselves. Now we know that the way to love ourselves is to spread loving kindness to ourselves and take care of ourselves and love ourselves. That's the way to stop hurting yourself. People love ourselves, but do everything without knowing that it hurting. It is hurting yourself. Now we realize that if we don't respond in malicious way, but instead we spreading loving kindness. To ourselves, to make our mind happy, not hurting ourselves first. Even if people in the world disagree with us, but what we do is right and good. What we do is right and good, according to the teachings of the Lord Buddha, which is, is, which is to think good, to speak good, and to do good, no matter who agree with us or disagree with us. We just think good, speak good, and do the good way. I show you this car. We cannot direct the wind, but we can adjust the sails, adjust ourselves, do good speak good and think good no matter no matter the wind how the wind which direction of the wind is make our mind pure and clear we agree with ourselves and do and we are happy. That's all. That's enough. Just make our mind pure and clear. We agree with ourselves and we are happy. That's enough. Doesn't matter the other people think. This is the good way to take care of ourselves.
Remember this. In fact, hatred, anger, revenge are created by ourselves. I repeat, hatred, anger, revenge are created by ourselves. When we created it, we keep we kept them like a valuable. Keep in safe where uh, like a they are valuable thing. For what? Keep that for what? In order to often recall and enjoy hurting ourselves. If we compare to the computer, we have bad file in our computer. Once in a while, and we recall that. The bad experience that we recorded in the past, and we, we, we recall that. Every time you recall that, it hurts yourself. The best way to handle your file, your bad file in, in your computer, is just delete it. Delete to forget and you have nothing to recall and hurt yourself. Stop hurting yourself because you are angry at someone else. You, when you are angry at someone else, you are hurting yourself. The guy who hurts you had good night's sleep, but you are recalling that and hurt yourself. That's the way you hurt yourself many times more. How to relieve hatred, anger, and revenge? How to relieve hatred, anger, and revenge? Number one, number one, giving without expecting anything in return. If you can keep something to someone, without expecting anything in return. You will have good feeling. You will be happy because you can conquer your selfishness. Number two, forgiving to forget. If you can forgive, you can forget. If you cannot forgive, you keep remembering that. When you have time, you recall that. You recall that and hurt yourself. Because you, most of the time you recall the bad experience instead of recall the nice experience. Something hurt you, it keep pushing you to recall that and hurt yourself. Number three, observing precept. Observing precept, it not to kill, not to steal, not to 
do the adultery, not to tell a lie, and not to consume a high degree of alcohol and drugs. So when not to kill is give the security of of others' life. Not to steal it give give is to give the security of their property. Not to do the adultery is to respect of being family. Uh, not to tell a lie is giving trust to other and not to consume alcohol or drugs is to avoid doing those those four precepts because when you get high you tend to be doing that three that four precept easily then the last one that profound one is to practice meditation still your mind and relax and keep practicing meditation all the time keep practicing meditation every day not once a year not once a month but do it every day if you you have spare time maybe twice a day before going to sleep and after waking up that's very good time to practice meditation keep doing that that's the profound way profound one to to get away from hurting yourself when your mind is clear when your mind is calm when your mind still that's you can get away from the trick of defilement okay so that's it for the day thank you everyone for listening to the wisdom talk today hope it's useful for everyone just keep practicing meditation every day and see you again next Thursday with the Mangshaya non 